So in today's video, um, I'm going to make my sprinkler system smart. Uh, so this is the sprinkler system that I have, which is the ESP TM2 by Rainbird. Um, so I don't know what the ESP in this means, but the beauty of this particular system is that uh, you can actually upgrade it to make it a Wi-Fi enabled thing. And that's what we're going to do. So it has eight zones. I only use six zones out of this, uh, but this also has a a port for putting a rain sensor and um, basically that's what I have attached as well which did not come as a part of the standard installation uh, when we bought the house so this is just a Wi-Fi module uh, that you can just attach into the uh, irrigation controller and then you can control it using Wi-Fi using their app and also home assistant so in Home Assistant, uh, we have this Rainbird module that has been part of Home Assistant since version 0.61, which is kind of like a long time ago. And all you have to do is put in your IP address of your module, put in your password and the amount of time that it takes uh, for every zone to get triggered. Uh, that is the default time. And then you can define the name of each zone. So I'll show you my configuration. So this is my configuration. So basically I just have my IP address, my password, and I've named the different zones uh, with different names. And once you have this in your home assistant, it just uh, brings up uh, different things that you can do with this uh, irrigation system. So if you have some kind of object detection system in your home assistant, you can turn on sprinklers to deter certain people or certain animals on your um, on your lawn and all those kind of automations. Again, that is beyond the scope of this video. So all I'm trying to do is get this into home assistant. So once you add the integration of uh, Rainbird into Home Assistant, they will show up as different switches. Um, so basically every time you turn on a switch, that particular zone is going to turn on. And something really useful that I found is actually the rain free sensor. That is that sensor that I attached to my uh, e ESP TM2. Um, so that sensor can give us a lot of information on what the weather is outside in terms of whether it's freezing or not, or uh, we should skip um, the irrigation and stuff like that. So you can create a lot of automation based on um, the values that you get from this sensor. Um, so that is kind of very useful. And basically right now, um, none of this is going to work because I'm going to winterize. It's now end of the season. So basically the fall is done and we are getting ready for winter. So I'm going to turn off the irrigation controller and I'm going to flush the lines with uh, air and then we can proceed from that and get ready for winter and next uh, spring, we can start um, using this uh, particular irrigation system. So in my case, I need to first turn off the water that goes to the sprinkler system. So I'm just using an eight gallon tank with a compressor over here. So this is going to be really loud. We'll just turn it on and set this value to be around 90 to 100 PSI. And I'm just using a flexible 100 foot hose that I'm going to connect to this particular system. I'm going to first drain all the water that's in here. So all the water that's in here is gonna come out. So this guy. The first thing that you do is actually take the black cap off, just rotate it counterclockwise, and then remove the white thing out there. Try to remove that section before that you can remove the spring from the top um, and then try to push that a little bit that particular piece of metal um, keep the o-ring safe though and then remove it and now put back the o-ring and uh, put back that white piece in there um, don't put the spring back on and now try to put that cap back on going clockwise Connect the 100 psi hose. Okay. So now let's. 
So now the valve has now closed this. It created a good vacuum, 100 PSI. Okay, so the next thing is to open this and turn on the various section. Okay, so now we can go to the next section. The first one is done. So this is the third section and these are the spray misting sprinklers on the side of the house. So this is the fourth section and that is the back of the house. So the next section in the front left. And the last section is on the left side of the house. Once everything is done, close it and then rotate it anti-clockwise to remove the top portion again and remove the white section and uh, try to put that piece of metal back where you took it from and uh, all that does is keeps that white thing upright so put that white thing back in and uh, make sure that it is in the center and uh, then finally put in the spring back onto the top section of the backflow preventer I make sure to put the o-ring back in its position if you lose o-ring try to get and find the replacement and rotate it clockwise that's it you're done and once that is uh screwed in that is the rebuild of the back door preventer now that everything is complete um turn this guy off put this in a 45 degree angle put this guy 45 degree angle Put this guy in a 40 degree angle. Put this guy in a 40 degree angle. 